What's going on everyone? Well, thanks for checking out another one of my videos. So I'm out here in Monterey Bay today with Kevin. You guys remember him from a few videos ago? We caught some squid together. So today, different plan. We're going for sand dabs. And he's already gotten three so far while well, I'm getting my line together. Plan today, catch sand dabs first, put them on underwater cam, and drop them on the link cod, or for link cod on the rocks. So really excited to see what that footage will look like. Hopefully the plan comes through. So this is the rig right now. I'm gonna try and catch some sand dabs with the underwater camera. Uh, sabiki rig, tip with some squid. Uh, we're like 85 feet of water right now, you know, looking for a sandy bottom. We're definitely on to some, because what, you got three in five minutes. So uh, let's drop this down and see what the bottom looks like. Okay, we're dropping it down right now. You know, there's that light on it, but it's pretty dark out right now. It's only like 6.30 in the morning and it's foggy. So we'll see what kind of footage we get, but uh, hopefully we can get some sand dabs down there with it. This is my first time fishing for sand dabs. What well, my strategy is, is hit the bottom, and then I'm gonna kind of jig it just a few times to straighten my line out, get the camera up, the weight down, and then we're gonna hold it still and wait for those sand dabs to attack it. We got one on here. Look at two. All right, so there we go. There's Kevin. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Ugh. That lives in his gills. How's that footage down there? Are we able to see some good stuff? Oh, there's a good one. Oh, that's a real good one. <clears throat> it's our biggest one yet, I think. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. That'll be for our link cod right there. Almost every single one of these sand dabs, I forget what they're called, but has this, you know, parasite growth thing comes out. Dude, I don't know what I got here. This is not decent. Kevin thinks he's got something here. My guess is a smelt. Big, big sand dab. Big sand dab is what we want. Huh? Smelt could be fun too. Oh, or a load of sand dabs. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> That's three good size ones. Yeah. Exciting. We got like 20 to 25 sand dabs. Only took 30 minutes. I mean, it was really quick today. Basically, just drop it down, bring it up. And I don't know, we threw away 10 to 15, you know, littler ones. Uh, I don't want to reach my hand there right now and get my arm wet. But, you know, they're in there. I don't know, six inches around. So we're gonna go find some rocks now to drop them on. Uh, I'm not too familiar with this area, so we're using the Navionics app to find some rocks on the bottom and we'll go drop the sand dabs on them. Can we get some big link cut on them? I think it'll be really fun and exciting, especially see that underwater footage. All right, Kevin, you ready to go get them? Ready. All right, let's go. So here's our little sporty out here today. 
Got uh, five foot swells at eight seconds. Eight seconds is the biggest of the problems there. So these waves are coming quick. This is the rig I made up for the underwater camera. Um, I have a little piece of 20 foot, uh, pound mono right there in case they get stuck on rocks. Hopefully that's what breaks. Uh, but we have this hook to a treble, which will have the sand dab on down to an eight ounce weight. The water's 100 feet deep. So uh, hopefully we can uh, get some visibility down there. So I'm using a different rig because of the underwater camera. I want to get some good footage of it. But generally you'd use like a halibut rig for the kind of fishing we're doing. That's what Kevin's putting on right here, this pit bull tackle. And this is a good size, the three aught uh, hook and then the four size four trouble hook. How should we do this? What a perfect day for the underwater camera. The clarity is so good down there. This is some of the best footage I've ever captured. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Oh, dude, take a line. Oh. Hell yeah, dude. Here it comes. Oh, yeah, it's going to be. Nice one, too. Oh, yeah. Is it a big one? Yeah. Not bad. Yes, beautiful fish. <laughs> nice color. Oh, yeah. Hey, beauty. Felt bigger because of that light rod, too, yeah. right? This feels big. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is a big fish. <laughs> Good. This is working pretty well, huh? Oh yeah. Alright, I'll be ready. Oh yeah, we got a bad little time. Let me put this one down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my word. My guess is gonna be 30 inches. It's working, man. It's two pretty nice uh, link yeah, yeah. already, right? For sure. All right, I'm gonna get you rigged up. All right, man, get another big one. 
well this is fun two drifts two link cod and these drifts are like only 10 minutes I guess just like, yeah, I don't know why. He was like, rrr, 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 like, oh God. Oh, he's on. I just got bit too. Really, you know? I was just getting bit too. Poor thing. <laughs> I don't stand a chance down there. Nope. I traded, look at this, Chris. I traded out for this fish. Oh man. And then the link cod hit that fish. Yeah, look at that, guys. So Kevin, oh, had a monster on. <laughs> Somehow that's on, not the sand dab anymore. So what? We're thinking sand dab. That ate the sand dab or something? I don't know. And then the link <laughs> got, yeah, got that. Crazy. Crazy stuff happens down there. something. Oh, there we go. You know yeah, I'm on. Well, that's a smaller keeper size, maybe. So this guy's close to 22, about 22. We'll go ahead and just let him live, throw him back. Before I watched this footage, I would have just assumed you get a live sand dab in front of a Lincoln and game over for that sand dab. But that wasn't the case after watching the footage. Plenty of times there was Lincoln in the area looking at the sand dab and they didn't want to bite it. My best guess is it just wasn't, you know, the perfect presentation. They thought something was fishy and it was Just let go, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, it's all messed up. Tried to put the hook a little bit more in the middle of the body this time. Because it seems like link cod, they usually grab for the middle of their uh, prey. Like it just let go again. 
Oh man. Oh my word. <laughs> so I moved the hook up more towards the middle and then my tail's gone. <laughs> Man, every single one you pull out has one of those, it's just... <laughs> no, it's crazy. Okay, I got a good one now. There you go. Yeah, here we go. All right, here it comes. Oh, it's another rockfish. Huh. All right, like that out. Makes it sound like it's big as hell. <laughs> he was fighting pretty good. Put a little bit smaller one on this time. I'm kind of going for the bigger sand dabs. You know, I want a bigger link on, but missed the last two. There's something I noticed that I wanted to share with you, and that's how the sand dabs camouflage themselves with their environment. You can see her on the rocks, and then look at them on the sand, how they turn the exact same color as the sand. It's pretty crazy. Oh man, they all feel good on the pole. <laughs> uh, and the 10 ounce weight. Yeah. Just a little rockfish. Yeah, I don't know if he's legal. Yeah, he's really close. He's skinny is the problem. It's just short. 21. 21. We're short of the day. Yeah. Got hooked up. Oh, check that out. <laughs> oh, nice. dude, line is going. This might be a good one. He's taking line. Okay, fingers crossed. Hopefully, it's a big one. I think it is. Good. This is that 30 incher. Here it comes. What do we got? What do we got? Nice. Not bad. Yeah. Yeah, you want to grab your knife and stick one in the head and then cut his gills? Just pop them right here? Yeah. Sam Dab scores some good link on, huh? Yeah, I'll say. Look at that. You got some nice fish. Oh, yeah. Check out what this link on wanted to do eat the camera and look how far off suspended he is from the ground. Well, all good things must come to an end. We finally got this rig snagged. Remember, I put a little precaution in earlier in case this happens. Um, I have a little piece of 20 foot, uh, pound mono right there in case they get stuck on rocks. Hopefully that's what breaks. Well, conditions got choppy out there. We ended up not getting the fourth keeper to bring in. We caught five link cod today. Uh, the three keepers, beautiful ones. Nice big size with those sand dabs. That's what you're gonna get with live bait. That was my first time ever using sand dabs to catch link cod. You know, you hear so much about that, how good they work. Make lures that uh, look like sand dabs for the link cod. My goal today was to catch a link cod with the underwater camera with the sand dab. Mission accomplished. Success. Thank you again, Kevin, for inviting me on your boat. It was a blast out here. You're welcome. Awesome time. Yeah, so I think, great. I think I owe you a trip on my boat when you head out <laughs> to the Bay Area. That'd be, that'd be awesome. That's right. So, uh, yeah, thanks for checking out this video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one, and we'll catch you on the next one. Later.